Hello everyone. I'm Scott from Sharky's Floral and Greenhouses. I know it's been a little while. We've been really busy in the greenhouses and I'm glad to be able to get back into uh, doing some videos. And today we're gonna go, uh, I mean, we're gonna call it back to the basics. So we've been selling a lot of hanging baskets in the greenhouses, had a phenomenal year. And thank you, it's been great. Um, and I wanna go back to, you know, we, we keep having the same questions over and over again. So I wanna readdress them. So just to kind of refresh your, your memory and we wanna talk about watering hanging baskets. So customers come in and they grab a hanging basket or, or several, and the question always is, all right, Scott, uh, how do I take care of this? How much water do I give it? And I, I know a lot of people are disappointed with my answer because I always say, whatever it needs. So some of you are really analytical, and if I told you to put two quarts of water in here, you would do that nonstop. Okay, but remember, this is a moving target. You know, the, the weather changes daily, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, you can have a week of, of the same, you know, maybe hot weather. We just had three, four days of uh, mid 80s or high 80s, and it, it was very hot. And so the, the requirements for this hanging basket changed. All of a sudden, those requirements went way up. And yesterday, it was rainy all day long. The requirements for this hanging basket dropped. So I don't want to tell you to just add X amount of quarts of water or whatever to this hanging basket because that target is moving. So the best way that I can explain of how much water to give this hanging basket, whether it's an eight inch or 10 inch or 12 inch hanging basket or the great big 14 inch monsters behind me is the best way is to feel it. I wanna water it so that it feels heavy, okay? And I wanna water in the morning. And so what you're gonna to have to do is kind of figure out what is heavy. And remember, it's gonna change. You know, in the next month, this hanging basket, these hanging baskets behind me, they're gonna double in growth. They're gonna double in size. So obviously they're gonna have more foliage, more plant to it, more flowers. That weight is gonna change. It's gonna get heavier as it, as it grows. So you have to kind of figure that out of, this is how much weight it should be when it's well saturated, when that water um, is all the way through this hanging basket and the soil is adequately moist all the way through. Not just the top uh, portion of it, but all the way through. And you have, you're gonna have to kind of figure that out. So when you water it, <clears throat> you wanna take it kind of right to that point or at least a couple times where you water it so heavy that the water comes through. That's, that's your top limit. Then you know, okay, now that is too much water. Now I have to bring it back down to a point just below that. So today it's gonna be nice out. It's gonna be beautiful out, uh, nice weather today. I wanna water this nice and heavily. All right, so, but again, at that point where the water is not dripping out. There, there's some absolutely terrible advice out there and some garden people telling you to just water a hanging basket like this until the water comes through and, and just do that every day. That's terrible advice, that's, that's too much. Just like, um, let's think of it this way. Every time you eat, do you eat until you cannot eat anymore, until you're gonna vomit? No, because what would happen? Well, your, your pants wouldn't fit anymore, would they? If you did that day after day after day after day, you, you, your body would change if you ate so much every day. Same thing with watering a hanging basket. We don't wanna to go to that point every single day. We wanna water it so that it has enough moisture to just get to tomorrow. So that's the mentality that you're thinking of is just that, that 24 hour mentality. I'm trying to take this hanging basket and get it to tomorrow. That's, I'm not trying to water it for the week. And, and some of you do that and, and that does not work, okay? You'll run into trouble, I promise you. So really, we wanna get you into that 24 hour mentality. Water this hanging basket and get it till tomorrow. Water in the morning, that's the best way because then that hanging basket can kinda of dry down throughout the day. Now if the hanging basket needs water at night, go ahead and water it, that's fine. But again, a habit, if you water this every night, those, you know, our, our nights are cool around here uh, in Northern Wisconsin. You know, if it drops down to 50 degrees or so, this, this hanging basket is then sitting wet and cold all night long and the roots will rot. Uh, so that, that's a bad habit. And it doesn't happen overnight. 
it, it happens when you have a month or two months of bad habit building upon itself. And we hear it every year. Uh, a customer will come in and say, my hanging basket just, it just died. Well, and that's usually the, the, the thing is we, we ask right away, when do you water? Well, I, wonder, I water it at night because I get home from work, I have, I have supper, and then I go water my hanging baskets. That, that's a bad idea because over the month or so, or three weeks, that hanging basket was dying, the roots rotted, and then one day it just looked like it died. It didn't just die in one day, it died over the month of bad habit of doing that. So you do want to get in the habit of watering in the morning, and that way the hanging basket can kind of dry down. Okay, we have a question. Do you fertilize after you water your flowers or before? Patty uh, Anderson asked that. Okay, so Patty, so so fertilizing, we're, we're going to fertilize once a week, and fertilizing is just, just like watering. So we're mixing the fertilizer in with our can of water or if you have a hose-in sprayer. And so fertilizing is, is just replacement of just like you're watering. So remember one, one day a week, uh, fertilizer Friday. Today's Friday, fertilizer Friday. Hey, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fertilize all my hanging baskets, my containers, my garden, whatever it is. Fertilize once a week. Uh, there's nothing magical. It's just that now the water has fertilizer in it. So going back to we're gonna today I'm gonna I'm fertilizing all the hanging baskets and everything's getting their fertilizer, and I want this hanging basket to to feel good and heavy, and it's gonna be heavy with the fertilizer in the water. So that's that's a good question. Just fertilizing once a week, and uh, and actually we you know we if if you've been following us you know that we went through a lot of hanging baskets and then we went through and we uh, we Amy and I and we 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 did up a bunch of second round of hanging baskets that's this is one of one of those hanging baskets this was only planted oh two weeks ago maybe i was fertilizing quite a bit um about every other day because i wanted this to just explode in growth and i you know, I, I was trying to make up for a couple of months of of growth time and so i was fertilizing about every other day now Unless if you have a if you have a graduation party or a garden walk or something, you shouldn't normally do that. You should still be about the once a week. You can bump that up, you know, a couple times a week. But if you do that, if you're fertilizing really heavily, um, what you're going to want to do on a nice hot day is go ahead and water it with clear water and let it let it run out the bottom. Okay, I, I know I was telling you don't do that, but once in a while, if you're fertilizing really heavily. Go ahead and water it really heavily so that it flushes out. What happens is the soluble salts will build up uh, when you're fertilizing real heavy. And we just want to wash that out maybe, and this happens maybe once a month, okay? So that, so that we're only doing that. We're only overwatering it once a month maybe with clear water on a hot day when we know it has a chance to go ahead and dry down. So, um, so that's how you water the hanging baskets. Um, and I've told you before, I like the big hanging baskets. They're a lot easier to care for than the smaller hanging baskets. When you go down in size, you know, the eight inch hanging baskets, it's not a lot of soil volume. So each time you go up in size and hanging baskets, you're, you're actually, your, your, your requirements, your care requirements are a lot less. These great big 14 inch hanging baskets, and again, these are only half size right now, they'll double in size. They'll be five, six feet in diameter. They're actually a lot easier to care for than the small eight inch hanging baskets because this amount of soil, um, I might have to water at noon again because it's you know on a hot day or a windy day or a day where that's real low humidity, those small hanging baskets will go through their water. A great big hanging basket like this where, where the pot is almost six gallons of soil, no problem, it, it, can, it can weather that. It can go right through that in no problem. So now, um, I want to give you a little tip for, uh, we're getting into the summer and yeah, we have some, you get some uh, storms that come along and you know, and you get a, an alert on your phone and you say, oh, we're going to get hail. So, you know, it's best if you can, if you can bring these hanging baskets inside and protect them, that's probably the best case scenario. But with like the big hanging baskets, we have them on the floral shop. I can't drag those in They're They're maybe 75 pounds when they're wet. Um, so something that I do is if I know a bad storm is coming, bad wind or hail uh, or, or just a, like a torrential rain, I go and I water them. 
and I water them really, really heavily. That way they can't move that wind or um, that wind has a hard time in, in moving them and in, in uh, uh, you know, you can get a bad, bad wind and these hanging baskets can be sideways. Uh, go ahead and water really heavily so that that hanging basket will sit and that just will help um, you know, with a, a storm scenario. Uh, the other thing that I do is with the hanging baskets where they're hanging, I usually take like either a black string or a black bungee cord and I hook it to one of these wires and I hook the other end to the wall. See if this is on your house, I hook it to the wall. That way it can't spin and uh, you know, break these wires. These wires we use, uh, they're really heavy, so uh, we, we, get, we make sure we pay extra for these hanging basket wires. Um, so they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty stout, they're pretty strong. But to make sure that this hanging basket can't spin, we take a bungee cord or a black string, so you don't even see it, and we tie it to the wall so that way it can't spin. Okay, we have another question. Okay. One is Lisa. It's going to get down to 45 degrees at night in the next couple of days. Okay. Should we worry about any of our hanging baskets or container plants? Okay, so Lisa had a question. I don't know if you if you heard Amy, but she said that you know the weather. Check the weather, the forecast, and it's going to get down to 45 degrees. So 45 degrees, no problem. Yeah, uh, they, these the hanging basket, the containers, they they can handle going down pretty cold. Now, when we're really early in the spring. Um, that that weather can fluctuate. You know, the the, the weatherman says oh, that's going to get down to 40 tonight. You wake up and it's it's not even close. You know, maybe that temperature dropped um, and it's it's 32 degrees. Well, you know, yeah, bring 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 your stuff in. But yeah, at this point we're we're generally pretty safe. Um, petunias can take down to 26 degrees, well below freezing. Now, let me let me put in. Uh, uh, um, my two thoughts on that they could uh, a petunia like this can take down to 26 degrees however that's usually at the end of the season you know as you go through summer and you start into fall and that temperature starts to go down but it goes down pretty gradually this petunia basket is getting used to it's getting acclimated to those colder nights colder and colder and colder and colder each week each month and that's where it can handle uh, getting down to the cold uh, the cold temperatures. So yeah, they can they can handle really cold. Petunias can, and um, uh, <clears throat> so generally at the at the end of the year into the fall, that's that's where it can really handle the cold temperatures. Forty five degrees, not a problem. That's that that's no problem. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that at all. Okay, another question. Uh, Cindy said, if pots and planters are still wet from all the rain, do you still fertilize them or wait till they dry down? Okay, great question. So Cindy, uh, again, I don't know if you heard the question, but she's she was saying, you know, we, we just had rain, and we had, what, two and a half inches of rain, and the containers are still wet. Just just let them be. And, um, yeah, it's today's, you know, Fertilizer Friday. Uh, just just let it be and, and catch it, you know, if, it, if they dry down, just catch it the next few days. Uh, you know, maybe it's Monday that you fertilize again. And that's, that's no problem. And then still go ahead and still get back into the habit of, okay, I'm gonna fertilize again on Friday. So yeah, it's, it's um, the rain, we, we had some pretty heavy rain. Again, we had two and a half inches of rain just the other day. And, um, I, but now if you have a hanging basket, I would check it because, uh, and we've talked about this before, a lot of times, and this catches me off guard, you're like, oh, it rained, you know, it rained for two days. I don't have to water my hanging baskets. Again, feel them because that, that, that might not be right. That, um, they might be bone dry because especially petunias like this, it will shed that rain right off. And you, a lot of times the rain never even made it into uh, the soil it, to saturate it. So yeah, that, that can happen. But again, lift it and see if yeah, it, it catches me every single year. So, you know, make sure you, you check that out. Lift it and see, see if it really did get rained or not. You might have to water today. So again, just check it. So I, those are just some, you know, that we're going back to the basics. You're still getting a lot of these same questions over and over again in, in the greenhouses and that's fine. That's, that's we're, we're here to answer those questions for you. So, so that's just watering basics, watering 101 for hanging basket care. And uh, I, I put a link in the description on, on this video of, to take you to our beatyourneighbor.com website. And uh, uh, if you go to the how-to videos, we've answered a lot of those questions. So there's, there's uh, the 
plant care, there's indoor plants, and so a lot of these videos are there. Uh, again, again, go to beatyourneighbor.com, go to the how-to videos, go to the blog, there's a lot of stuff on the blog too, uh, a lot of things that we're talking about. Have a great day, we'll see you later.